M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Whistler TRX1 Scanner. Let's prepare an SD card. So let's say you've you've corrupted the SD card in your scanner and it won't boot. Let's, uh, let's show you how to just get the SD card working and I can also show you about the firmware update. Firstly, just go to SD card. Now I have plugged a blank SD card into my laptop. Go to SD card, then down to prepare scanner memory SD card for use. Click that, and then we'll rescan just to make sure. Once you've got it selected here, now it should it says here D drive. If we right click device manager, remember our SD card is in the PC. It's not in the radio, and we're looking for the SD card. So where's that gone? Let's click it again. Go down here, USB drive, and it is saying C here, although it's not actually showing here. But let's see what happens if we do it. So then you just click Format. Now you can tell it to copy current configuration to the SD card as well. I'm going to untick that for now. Use Quick Format, just rescan, then we'll click Format, and then just go Yes. And then wait a while, and that will add the, you know, the, will make the SD card suitable for your. TRX1. The other tip I've got is if you go here and say your firmware and the radio is gone, you know, the scanner is just not booting up with lots of weird error messages. What I have done is use the CPU updater to update. So click that. You'll get the file. Let's have a quick look. Good luck. Let's do it again. There it goes. Took a while, didn't it? Keep, I do like so. Show in folder. Oh, it looks like I've downloaded it a few times, but that's fine. Double click. More info. Run. Yes. And you get this folder. Okay. Now, when they, you have, you, in this case, you do have to have an SD card and connect the scanner to your to your um, PC, click yes, and then acknowledge, continue, then right click and your scanner will show a port, go right click, device manager, and then select the port that is showing, port number, and then it'll click test, then update, and it will update the firmware in your scanner. So I hope this helps, it's helped me, so uh, thanks for watching my channel, and. The links needed will be in the description. Bye for now.